guys welcome back so today I have my ipsy bag uh, I've been watching a lot of ipsy and baggings and realizing like first impressions like everyone does them and so I'm realizing I can't do a bunch of tutorials with them but I kind of like a mix of a bunch of other youtubers that do the unbagging and so I wanted to start just trying the products out if I can and then this way it's like half a first impression, half like my review if it's an item that I can try for you guys. So I'm wearing a few of them today, but let's go ahead and open the bag. So this is the one for July and it's in this super adorable neon pink bag. Um, I did read a couple comments that it smelled funny and it kind of does, but I think it's just the material. But it's super cute. It has the scalloped edge and... Looks like it's, you know, it's pretty thick, so very durable. Um, I don't know. I just like all of these little bags. They're freaking adorable. I don't know what else can I say. They're just so cute. And so first off, I guess overall first impression, I really like my bag. Um, there's a few things in there I may or may not use, but overall I like it. So let's get started. The first one I have is the Bare Minerals 5-in-1 BB Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow broad spectrum SPF 15. So I haven't heard of these before. Um, I think they're newer. They, this one is in divine wine, which is this color right here. And it's basically supposed to be a 12 hour color. It's also technically a primer, uh, brightening for a wide eight, it brightens for a wide awake youthful look, uh, instantly smooths uh, while diffusing the look of lines and wrinkles, and has SPF 15 and mineral sunscreen. And it is available in 10 seductively neutral shades. So these are the 10 shades right here. I really like them. I love that they're neutral. This is the freaking cutest little bottle ever. Um, so that's just the bottle right there. It's just the five and one and I am wearing it on my eyelids. I just did um, I just used this on my the lid and then I used a little bit of a dark brown in the crease just to blend it out But let me get a little bit closer So I just used it on the base. It's a really neutral really gorgeous color. It's perfect for um, It's perfect for like for me, because I babysit a lot, like if I just want a little bit of color, something just to, like it says brighten, just to wake up and not have a completely bare face, this is perfect to just throw on your lids, kind of just wipe it around with, or smudge it out with your fingers. Uh, a little bit does go a long way with these, I was noticing, and it has a little bit of a, I don't know if you can see that, a little bit of a flexi doe foot applicator. It's not really a doe foot, but the little fuzzy applicator is flexible so it kind of glides around your eyelids when you're applying it but put a little bit on and then blend it and then if you need more add more because this is a very small tube but it definitely is like gonna last you a long time I'm not sure exactly how big the full size is but this is worth it and I really love the color this particular color the divine wine and I probably would purchase this in the full size so I don't know. I was just pretty impressed. It does smooth my eyelids. It's a great base color. It would be perfect for, you know, like the color tattoos. I use them a lot as a base. So this would be perfect for a neutral, you don't want any glitter or shimmer kind of base or just a neutral look or just those like no makeup makeup days where you just want to throw on a little bit of color and head out the door. So really great product. I love that one. So the next one that I have in here is the Hang 10. It is the dark tanning oil. So I haven't used this yet. Um, I've seen a lot of reviews that it has a really great scent and it is just a clear oil, but I don't really use tanning oils because I am in San Francisco and I'm looking at my window right now and it is middle of July and it is foggy and cold and ugly outside. So I don't really get to lay outside and tan uh, let me just open this up, see if it does really smell amazing. Uh, but yeah, I don't really tan outside because it's ugly half the time. We don't get our summer until October. Or they like to call it an Indian summer here. So maybe I'll hold on to this and keep it for like October, November when I actually get to lay outside and tan. So, wow. Oh. So it's kind of got like a coconutty smell to it. 
it does smell good nothing repulsive definitely something I don't mind like having on my skin and smelling it around me sometimes you know you spray like lotions or tanning lotions and they they have that weird tanning smell to them and sometimes I'm like I don't even know if I could wear it this long because I can't stand the smell but this one smells good it's a pretty good size uh, sample and I think I'm definitely gonna use it in October so yeah next I have the I already opened this one, can you tell? Sorry. Um, I got the Tints and Sass Fabulous Lip and Cheek Stain by Elizabeth Mott, and it is in the color Cherry. And this is what I'm wearing on my lips today. So I don't usually, I'm not very good with cheek tints, let me just say that. I did in my April Ipsy or May Ipsy, one of those a couple months ago, we had the Lolly Tint by Benefit. And I put it on and I just am not fast enough to blend it out and blend it out properly. And there's like a little pink line there. So I try not to use cheek stains. The only cheek stain I use is my Stila convertible color because it is a cream. So, I mean, as soon as I put it on, I can blend it out. Whereas the stains, I have to move super quick or it's a hot mess. Um, but I really like the packaging. It's got these cute little ribbon stockings on the back. And it's a very dark color and let me go ahead and swatch it for you on my hand. I did a little bit earlier today and it is still stained on my hand so maybe I'll just swatch it right over there. Right over the same spot so we're not staining two spots on my hand. Let's see if I can get it darker. There you go. So that is the cheek stain right there. I do have it on my lips. I did have to put like a couple coats of it but I really like the color on my lips. I just don't think I would put it on my cheeks. I can go ahead and rub, blend it out. No, see, I took too long to talk to you guys about it and it stained my finger or my hand. So that's the stain right there, but it turns into like a nice light pink. It probably would be really good for like a flush, like a, you know, like a, I just ran a mile kind of pink flush to your cheeks. Maybe you do it underneath like a light coverage foundation. Um, yeah, I don't know. If you're better than me about getting this blended out, then like you might like this, but I'm just not fast enough apparently, or not skilled enough to do it. So I keep it as a lip stain and I do like it. I think it would be great under any color as soon as it starts fading, or if you want to do like a light nude gloss, it kind of gives it a little bit of a pinky nude underneath. So that one's really great. I really like it. Like I said, wouldn't do it as a cheek stain though. And next is this adorable little baggie and it is Clear Clinic Laboratories Vanished Clear Spot Treatment. So obviously this is one I can't really test out in one day and tell you guys how it is. Um, but if anyone's tried it, I would love to hear it in the comments below. But um, it's just a blemish. It's just a spot treatment and it says it can be used up to four times a day and yeah but I like that it's little it's perfect for traveling um, obviously if it's a spot treatment a little bit goes a long way as well for this product so you know I like this to keep this in my bag or especially like you know those mornings you wake up and you're out the door and you're like oh my god there's a huge monster on my face Keep this in your bag and then just like keep putting it on throughout the day and hopefully it will be gone. I don't know. I've never tried this product. Don't know how good it is, but hopefully it works because I like the size and yeah, it's adorable. So last product I have in here is the Nail Teeny Nail Lacquer. So this one says, well, wear Nail Teeny Lacquers alone, layered or garnished to create countless combinations. Great straight or mixed, it's cocktails for nails. Nail Teeny Shake One Up. Well, I like their little packaging and their little motto. And this is the color. Let's see if I can. So that's the color. It's actually on my nails right now. You can tell I did a horrible job. I did this really quickly just because I wanted to see the color and it was really streaky and kind of thick. And I think it would be nice if I actually had the patience and let each layer dry, but I was sort of in a hurry to get this video filmed and get everything set up and do my makeup and everything so I kind of rushed it but that is the color it's a little bit darker on the nails than it is in the bottle but it's not a color that I like it, I'm not really a fan of it I think it would be great color over because it is pretty sheer and I had to do like three or three or four coats to get this 
um, opacity. So I think this would be really pretty as like a sheer glittery layer over another color. So, and that's the nail teeny. So that is it for my Ipsy July bag and that's it. So if you liked any of the products, have used any of these products, any tips that you guys have found out using these products or you know the brand if you really like it, I would love to know all opinions, advice, tips, tricks, whatever you guys got, just say hi, whatever is tickles your fancy um, in the comments below. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you guys next time. Bye!